Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, this is the week five of the Ribbon Masters Draft League Season 3. Um, we are doing a draft league, <laughs> obviously a little cup format, little cup singles with some bands. Um, and I'm Grunky, coach of the Pirate Town Persians. Um, as you can see, uh, real quick, we're, uh, we're only four games in week four. Yeah, this is week five, so we're only four games into the season. Um, but here's just a quick update on the uh, standings. Uh, you can see we got the number five spot, um, which, I mean, obviously it's not great. Like, obviously I'd want to be up here if I, you know, had a choice right here, preferably. But um, kind of, my, I mean, my like I've been saying, my goal this season has been to uh, just really just get experience doing these kind of things, uh, just competitive Pokemon in general. Um, and uh, with that, my goal is essentially hit 500 at the end of the season. So <laughs> we're on pace for that. Um, so, yeah. Um, this week we have another cross conference match uh, against the Yokohama Ibeltals, uh and that is Reggie's team. Um, and Reggie is just a menace uh, with Pokemon, so um, I'll go over their team in a second. But it's just kind of scary. Um, so yeah, two two uh, on pace for you know kind of like what I would like to finish. Um, but you know, obviously, <laughs> the goal is eventually be up here. Um, but kind of cool thing here's a little sidebar. Uh, Sandshrew, our Sandshrew is number two in the MVP race, um, so that's pretty cool. I didn't think Sandshrew would be very much of like a, I don't know, like garnering the, the KOs as much as it has been, so um, that's pretty cool to see. Uh, my personal MVP has been Meowth. Um, I, I just, whenever I'm like team building, uh, you can see uh, Vincy's Alola and Meowth right there. Um, it's just, there's just so much you can do with Meowth. Uh, the stats are a little, uh, ooh, sorry, a little different with Alola and Meowth. Um, they have like a higher base special attack. Um, but regardless, there's still, I don't know, there's just a lot you can do with Meowth. So I know I've said it before, but just, uh, you know, when I'm team building and prepping for other people's teams, um, I'm just really surprised that like, oh, how should I like do this with Meowth? So, um, so yeah, I guess my personal MVP so far, <laughs> um, Actually, now that I think about it, it's probably staying true. <laughs> Eight and two is just really good. Uh, and yeah, that's just been surprised. It's just been doing the work I, I've wanted it to. So, um, so yeah, maybe it's staying true. I, I don't know. Meowth is a contender for me. But, um, but yeah, there's Shelter, Battle Baby Shelter that we uh, dodged a bullet a couple weeks ago on. Um, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, okay, cool. So, that is just kind of a quick update on the rankings and like the little MVP race, which I think is pretty cool. Um, and uh, now to go to Reggie's team, um, theirs is pretty scary. Uh, <laughs> I go to Pusnivy again, another Drillbur, um, and Hippopotus, Hippopotus, I don't know how you say it. Um, which are all just, uh, they're just annoying to, especially when they have Golding and Drowsy. Um, I don't know. And with Reggie being like the battle, or Reggie is, I, I haven't seen like their matches of last season, but this season I've been watching theirs, and they just, they're clever. I mean, it, it, <laughs> they're just, just really clever with how they build their team and how they use it too. So, um, yeah, it, yeah. <laughs> um, you can see like it's pretty spread out. Uh, LGM apparently is the only one they haven't brought yet, but you can see it's just they they've brought pretty much everything. Um, yeah, so Snivy uh, is annoying. Um, I think I have a really good team against it. Um, and that being said, I could see Reggie just not bringing Snivy this week. I'm not going to bank on that because if they do and I don't prep for it, then I'm in trouble. Because um, Snivy can steamroll pretty easily. Um, Drillbur is annoying uh, just because it's very fast and hits very hard. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's going to be a goal to kind of get rid of that. Uh, as quickly as possible because if I do that um, then I have to worry about what I call the lesser threats which are still pretty big threats. Um, Fletchling used some sort of like natural power thing in O-Code Venti, uh, I don't know if it was Venti's Volibi or Pawnyard, something insane um, which I I don't know, I was just <laughs> really impressed with so that's kind of scary. Um, Fletchling I'm not terribly worried about um, but since I have to bring like some grass types, I really need to make sure I get that out of the way too. Um, Golding is also another huge threat for me. Um, Golding is like surprisingly fast and has a pretty high like physical attack. So 
Um, and it gets stuff like Mega Horn. So even if I switch in a Grass type, it, can, it has a potential to Oko, um, which is frustrating. But um, and I can see them running like HP and defense of the EVs. I don't know. <laughs> There's just a lot. Uh, Goldine has a pretty vast move pool. A lot of like the Kanto mons do, but Goldine is like no exception. So. There's just, there's just a lot they can do. Drowsy is just really bulky. Um, I think it has like a base 80 special defense. And like its physical defense is still like 50 or 60. So it's just really bulky. Um, and I don't have any like dark or... Well, I do have a ghost type, but I'm not... You'll see I'm not bringing Duskull this week. Um, but it's just, it's just frustrating <laughs> to try to like build around that. I know people have like said that about my team with Marini uh, just being a wall, but... Um, this is another wall that is super effective against Marini, so um, that's frustrating. Fennekin is another thing that can threaten my grass types that I'm kind of forced to bring. Um, I don't know. I'm not like terribly worried about Fennekin. I probably should be, but I'm just not. Um, Spritzy is annoying as well, uh, just with like the wish and the wall and everything Spritzy does. Um, so that's a, kind of another goal is really to get Spritzy out uh, quickly just so it can't like keep passing wishes. Um, but who knows, maybe, <laughs> that's the thing, with Reggie, they might be uh, like doing some like physical or special sweeping set or something, I don't, I don't know. But I can imagine that they'll probably keep it as like the, the cleric role, um, just to keep their other Pokemon healthy. Um, Hippopotus is, again, I have to try to take this out again, um, which is annoying. but. Um, I did like triple check it doesn't get Ice Fang, which is good. Uh, for whatever reason I thought it did. Um, I think that was Sand Dial who does, but um, yeah, Hippopotus is just annoying. It's just bulky. But it sets Sand, so that can come, in, come to my benefit. Um, Kranidos uh, is also is very scary. Um, I know I've only brought it once so far, but I haven't <laughs> It didn't even like come into play when I brought it, so. Um, but Kranidos is just scary. Um, I still think I have some decent checks to it. Um, kind of out of necessity, so, um, so yeah, Kranidos is, like, I I if you don't know, Kranidos is base, uh, I'm sure it says it right here, yeah, 125 is his base attack, which is, like, I, I don't know, that's, like, as high as Garchomp, like, it's just insane, <laughs> um, the thing we have going for us is this stat and this stat, um, most Kranidos are scarfed, so, um, this will be, what is it, uh, yeah, it's 1.5 times, so um, it can still outspeed some of my Pokemon, but uh, I have some priority on my team that will hopefully um, hopefully, take it out. Um, LGM, they haven't brought it, but since uh, I have some poison types, I can see them bringing it, um, especially since they haven't brought it yet. Um, it has like Trick Room shenanigans and stuff, so. Um, and then Bonsly. Uh, I don't know. Bonsly, I'm not, again, not super worried about, but. Um, I can like set up rocks. I don't think it can spin, but um, it's just kind of annoying. No, they're like physically bulky Pokemon, so um, so I'm really having a hard time predicting what they're going to bring this week, um, especially since they've just like they've been really even bringing different Pokemon. So, um, but what I'm sure they're going to bring, okay, I, I can't say sure, but what I'm going to bet they're going to bring is uh, Drillbur, Fletchling, Goldeen, Drowsy, um, Hippopotus, and probably Spritzy. Um, they might bring Snivy in place of Drowsy or in place of Goldeen. Um, I can see them not bringing Fletchling just because I, I, I could threaten with rocks. Um, but still, Fletchling has been surprising. Uh, it's, got, it's got the most KOs on their team so far. Um, a drill burst kind of necessity, especially uh, since they probably know I'm going to be running Sand um, and they have a Sand Setter, so uh, Drill burst is going to be frustrating. Um, and because of the sand, Snivy, I can see them bringing, but at the same time, I do have good checks. So that's why I'm not like 100% on Snivy. Um, but yeah, so that's Reggie's team. Um, scary, Reggie is just a good battler, um, a great battler. So uh, <laughs> I don't want to say like I don't have much hope for this week, but uh, I don't have much hope for this week. <laughs> um, all right, so we'll go to the team I'm bringing so far, or this week. Um, Artemis is coming back uh, out of necessity. Um, I'm doing Stomping Tantrum instead, because um, my goal, I'll just go to Grookey here. Uh, I'm bringing Grookey again, so my goal is to 
keep uh, Grassy Surge up as long as possible, um, just in case they're going to be running like EQ on Drill Burn stuff. Um, grassy, grassy Terrain halves the damage of uh, Earthquake, Dig, and Magnitude. Um, so I can see them, um, or, or maybe, maybe they're reading into that as well. Um, but either way, that still the less damage is easier to manage. So, um, Grassy Surge is kind of the uh, terrain is what I'm going to try to keep up as long as I can. Um, LGM does get Psychic terrain, and I think Drowsy does too. So I can see them doing something like that. Like as soon as I bring in Mac, like they they switch out instead of Psychic terrain. They don't have Psychic Surge, but they so I could you know use that to my benefit um, to try to predict that. But I'm honestly not going to lean too hard into that. Um, but with Saint Drew, uh, I, this is not going to be a lead. Um, I'll, I'll probably bring it in just to keep rocks off or spikes or whatever. Um, but I'm not going to leave with Saint Drew. Um, but yeah, stopping tantrum, leech life to keep it healthy. Um, leech life and in, with in tandem with Evil Light has been really has been really good for me. So um, I think we're going to keep keep banking on that. Um, Swords dance, I think just kind of my plan is to bring in like mid to late game to set up and sweep. Um, but that really depends on if I get Snivy out. Um, I mean, if I get a speed boost before Snivy comes in, they might. St I think they still outspeed um, with Choice Scarf, but I don't know if they're going to bring Choice Scarf. I, I don't think they're going to bring Choice Scarf if they bring Snivy. So um, if I get a spin up, I'll outspeed and I can leech life um, and hopefully take it out. Um, bringing Dennis again. Um, it's still going to be bold with Regenerator, but I'm going to go a little more with like an offensive set um, with Ice Beam, Scald, and Sludge Wave. Um, that pretty much takes out like most of the checks. Um, I do. Have, I mean, this is going to be good. Sludge Wave like neutral against like Goldeen. Um, so Goldeen like it will only be hit neutral, um, but Goldeen can't do anything to Marini in return. Uh, nothing super effective, other than like hidden power or something. Um, but, um, but yeah, so Marini, I, I don't know. I'm just going for a little more like offensive minded set. Um, I think that'll that might take Reggie by surprise. Um, Liam, the Chikorita's coming back. Uh, I'm going to be setting up Reflect as soon as I can, um, just because they have a lot of physical attackers and the special attackers I think I can take care of uh, with relative ease. Um, HP Ice, just in case I'm in, like I predict like the Snivy Switch or Hippopotus or whatever. Um, Ice is good against their team. Um, Giga Drain to keep you know, this stab and to keep it healthy. And then Aromatherapy. Um, I can see Reggie, like, using some status stuff, and I can sw switch to Karita in and try to, like, heal my team. Um, so, yeah, this is kind of a cleric-type-ish role. <laughs> um, but, I don't know. I've been, I've been playing for Reggie's team for a while now, so I, I, I just, this is the conclusion I've come to. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, during, I think it was after week two, I dropped Aracuda and picked up Silicobra. Um, I needed like a decent sand stutter and um, I thought it was good for me. Um, also a little embarrassing, <laughs> I have like a, I have an app uh, that I use for like all my like, Poke like it's a Pokedex app and um, when I had drafted Aracuda, they had the wrong like stats with the stat spread for Aracuda. So I was thinking Aracuda was like a base like 90 speed and 90 attack. I'm like, oh my gosh, why is this tier four? Like, that's an easy steal, but in reality, it's like base 60 and 50 or something. Like, it's just way lower. Um, that, and it just didn't... I don't, I don't think I, I needed it anymore, so... <laughs> so, yeah, drops, uh, dropped it for Silicobra. Um, it has Sand Spit, which is an interesting ability. It, it's kind of lame in uh, Little Cup, which is I think is why it was tiered down, or as, as low of a tier as it was. Because um, you have to take a hit for it to set up. Um, I, I looked everywhere. Uh, I haven't used this. I haven't used Sand Spit on uh, Silicobra or uh, Sandaconda um, ever. <laughs> um, so, but everywhere I've read and looked up, it doesn't matter if it's physical or special. It's just any hit that uh, Silicobra takes, it'll spit up some Sandstorm. So, um, so hopefully that doesn't come back to bite me. Hopefully I didn't read wrong or whatever. Um, but uh, the only another bad thing about Silicobra, other than having to take a hit to set up. Uh, set up sand is um, it's a pretty limited move pool. Um, it does get coil and glare, which is pretty cool. Um, which I'm hoping glare will re like the things that I'm worried about outspeeding like uh, like Drillver and Snivy. I'm hoping to glare. 
Um, but bringing this in on Snivy is going to be a pain. So, um, but if I can get it off, then I'll do it. Um, but this is just, I, I want to set up sand if they don't set up sand. Um, and so bringing this in, um, like on a switch or something, like if I predict like a hit on anything, <laughs> I'll, I'll bring in Silly Cobra just to spit up some sand. Um, and then drill run again just because EQ, um, planning on keeping terrain up as long as I can. Um, protect just to, you know, keep getting some sandstorm chip damage. Um, I'm worried that that might be a wasted slot, um, simply because they have ground and rock types that can easily come in. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, I don't know. Silicon Run I'm kind of trying out this week. Uh, Coil and Glare will be interesting. Um, Coil also gives an accuracy boost, which is another reason why Drill Run is like beneficial. Um, that has a high uh, crit chance, which could come to save me. But um, kind of like Sandshrew, like I'm really trying to preserve this as long as I can because for me to get it to set up, I have to get rid of Snivy and Goldie. Um, but yeah, so that's the Lycobra, um, kind of a new 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 Pokemon for the roster. Um, so I've had some people tell me um, because I keep saying I've been doing uh, Grookey dirty. Um, I just need to fake out way more. Um, in fact, uh, I did some more transactions uh, before this week for next week, which you'll see then. Um, that I, I got another fake out user, but fake out is free damage, uh, and I, I I think I've said this before too. Whenever like I'm planning on like what like predicting which move I'm going to use, I always forget that little cup mons only have like a max of like 26 or t 27 HP. Um, Unless you're like Munchlax or like Wilmer or something. Um, like, that's like low. So, even if like if it's a neutral hit from like Charlie, fake out Life Orb with Technician and Stab, like, I even if you're like a 25 HP, I can see like easily bringing you down to 15. And 15 hit points is a lot more, e like, that's a lot easier to manage <laughs> than like 115 or something. So, um, I just never think, like, I, I got the fake out users, <laughs> this is funny, I got the fake out users because I'm like, oh yeah, free chip damage, but I just haven't been using it for that reason. So, I'll have to say, my goal is really to keep faking out more. <laughs> um, and I'm probably going to, I can see myself leading Grookey, but it really just depends on what they bring. Um, but even still, this is like a safe lead. You fake out, and then you U-turn. I don't think anything on their team has inner focus, um, except for like maybe Drowsy. Um, but U-turn is, I don't think they want to take a U-turn or a knockoff, so I can see them switching after the fake out, or switching right on the fake out. Um, but yeah, so Grookey, I'm doing the standard set again, <laughs> hopefully, hopefully I, tr I, I, I do do right by Grookey this week. I've been saying that every week, but hopefully I do. Um, Grassy Glide, uh, just for priority, just for more speed. Um, like fake out, uh, I just need priority and more speed, um, just to get some chip damage. Um, U turn to get out of a scary situation, get out of a jam, um, and knock off because I don't have another knock off user, or I haven't put knock off on anybody else. So, um, yeah, that's Grookey. Um, hoping to keep it healthy just so I can keep grassy terrain up as long as I like need it to, I guess. Um, and then uh, I'm going with Charlie, uh, well, I'm going with Charlie like every week, I think, but, um, a physical set. I can, I think Reggie's going to predict a special set on Meowth, um, just because I don't have very many special attackers, and I think they know um, to prepare for that, since um, Meowth I've been using as a special attacker. Um, so this is kind of like my set, like, build, like, prediction, <laughs> um, is that they're going to predict Meowth to be uh, a special attacking. So, um, Fake out, uh, obviously, <laughs> for those reasons I just said. Life orb, stab, and technician. Um, U-turn, uh, just to keep momentum going. Um, I'm running Adamant instead of Jolly this week, uh, just because 18 speed uh, um, will outspeed most things that aren't scarfed. Um, and if they are, I don't know. I just think Adamant, do, the more damage is probably the better trade, is the better trade-off I thought. Um, Aerial Ace for Snivy, um, if Snivy is, if Snivy's not Scarfed, I outspeed. If Snivy is Scarfed, um, Fake Out, I think will threaten it out just enough. Because um, if it's Scarfed, I can see them not running a whole lot of, like, defense or HP EVs. Um, 
And I think that, that Fake Out can scare them enough to switch out Snivy. So, um, and then Facade is a strong stab move. Uh, again, if they do like some status stuff, um, which I can easily see them do. Um, so yeah, um, <laughs> that's this week's team uh, against the Eveltals. Um Yeah, <laughs> I'm probably gonna lead Grookey, Um and Fake Out. Lead Grookey, Fake Out, Turn One. Because I don't think anything bad can come from that. Unless they're like Rocky Helmet. But with Life Orb, I guess I'm not really too worried about the chip damage. Um, and if it's something that scares Grookey, um, like Goldeen, if Goldeen tries to use like Mega Horn, then I can switch in to Silly Crowbar and set up the sand. Um, but the problem with that, if it is Goldeen, then I would have to switch out Silly Cobra <laughs> like right away. So, um, Or I guess I can just protect. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> sorry, I'm kind of just like drawing on now. My 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 intended lead is Grookey, fake out turn one, uh, and then go from there. Um, so yeah, cool. Um, we'll be right back whenever the uh, battle is ready to start. Um, I think I might just keep going with the Grookey lead. Um, let me make sure they're ready. Okay. All right, cool. Yeah. Um. I'm gonna leave his neck. I don't know why I said it like that. Okay. I'm gonna leave that. Okay, so there's Goldie. A fake out. Interesting that they switched to Snivy. Oh, I bet they thought I was gonna. Uh, gonna U turn. They're probably gonna use HP Ice. So if that's the case, I'm switching to Dennis. Ooh. Or Glare. Okay, so Ice takes out one, two, three, four, and Sludge Wave. Should we do Ice Wave? Or <laughs> Ice Beam or Sludge Wave? A freeze. Okay. Um, okay, what can they do to Marine? What can Goldie do to Marine? I don't think it's much, right? Sludge Wave. I'll knock off the spine. What do you think they're gonna do now? <laughs> so what is that real? Knock off, that's it. Um, is there anything stopping me from switching out? I don't think there is. Let me switch out to Liam. Ooh, nice. Okay, they're do you think they're going to switch? I think they're going to switch. I'm going to start a free play. Alright, so they probably have HP Ice, right? The Sludge Wave. If I get paired here, that's going to be really unfortunate, um, obviously, I guess that goes without saying. Oh my 
my god. <laughs> Alright, let's... Okay, sweet. <laughs> that was insane. That was asinine, really. <laughs> I guess that's neutral, though. I keep for, I keep seeing, like, Marini as strictly, uh... Um... Strictly poison type. Uh, I'm gonna switch to Margaret this time. That's fine. Oh, Sandstorm subsided. I'm gonna glare. If I if they stay in with Drillbur and take the Paralyze, that's gonna be good for me. But literally anything. I mean, I Drillbur is like the fastest thing they have left, right? I'm pretty sure, so if I get Glare there, then I'll have a lot of speed control on my side. Okay. So this, I'm gonna coil. I'm gonna coil. I think they're gonna stay in. So they have Earthquake, Swords, and Rock Slide. Might Coil again. Yeah, okay. And then Glare again. That's fine with me. Um, they're probably gonna switch out, right? So I think I'm going to request. Alright, now we're ready. Glare again, right? Which will threaten them out, so I can see them switching out to uh well who's paralyzed with Drillbur, Drillbur and Bobbit, which is good for me. Switching though. Ooh. That's the only bad thing about this set. Nice. Nice. There we go, to the Cobra. Okay, so we're in a pretty good spot right now. Uh, no more reflect, but I got a uh, coil boost on Silla Cobra now. They're probably in a whirlwind, so I might as well just get some damage on them, right? And then I think with Charlie, just fake out. Just fake out. Um, mm. How much HP do they have? I guess it doesn't tell him it does it. When you turn. Um, back into Margaret, why not? Oh, that's why not. Um, I'll turn around again. Oh shoot, they could switch out the fletching. Okay. Mm, the Paralyze. Gonna switch out to Silicobra. I mean, if they're gonna keep like switching out Silicobra, I'm just gonna keep bringing it back in because they don't want to go up against Silicobra because it can't really do anything. I mean, I should, I honestly just need to keep doing this. That's fine, same true. Hmm, 
What should I uh, reveal for Sandshrew here? So I don't want to hard switch, do I? Apparently it has Whirlwind and Slack off. Um, go okay so we're set up pretty well <laughs> um so they went right in to bonsley so they probably have sturdy i bet it's juice yeah but what's gonna do oh i should have seen that coming okay um let's bring mac back in a fake out. It's fine. It's fine, right? Um, well, there they buried you, so knock up would be a waste. It's aggressive. Right? Nothing wants to switch into this other than Fletchling, right? Forget sturdy reacts. Oh, that's gonna be a counter, isn't it? Ah, I forget about that. Ah, oh, once you're at full HP, counter or your uh, sturdy comes back. Oh, that's frustrating. Um. That out speed? Oh no, I didn't even think about uh, Sand Rush. <laughs> oh Reggie, why do I forget about Sand Rush? I had the Paralyze up and I still think, but that's because I needed Sand True. Doggone. Well, I'm gonna switch into Charlie. You gotta fake out. But this thing might outspeed. So should I hard switch or no? I'm going to switch to Dennis. Para, yes, there we go. Woo! Hey, oh my gosh. Yeah, that was definitely something I was planning for, was uh, the Bonsley with counter. <laughs> oh man, 40 turns. I honestly, I mean, I was thinking about counter Bonsley, it's like that'd be the only reason they would bring it. I obviously wasn't thinking they'd bring Bonsley, but... Um, 
Nice. Okay, nice. Um, and then, <laughs> Grookey, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I just let it... I mean, I did honestly... I forgot about the sturdy. I mean, I was determined... Uh, to have Grookey like live this battle, but yeah, wow. Um, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, okay, uh, <laughs> I feel pretty good about that battle. Uh, even if I didn't get the W, I still think I feel pretty good. I didn't think they got Flame Charge. Okay, so let's see what they're running. Sloppy Tantrum, Sucker Punch, Protect and Counter. So they didn't have a Rock-type move. Interesting. The counter was good, man. Yeah, I feel pretty good about how I played. Um, I was going to use Romothera, like, I wanted to save Chikorita to get, like, I was going to wait till uh, Fletchling was taken care of, then I was going to bring Chikorita to Aromatherapy for Marini, because I didn't think at that point there was anything, I mean, these two could do things about that, but, yeah, um, I don't think Meowth got a KO, did it? Maybe got one, but that's fine. Charlie's been doing really well this season. Um, nice. I like seeing that I have, didn't have to use like all like their moves on each set. The Silicrobra, wow, that did really it did really well, better than I thought it was going to. Unfortunately, staying true, uh, I think I did it dirty. Yeah, because that was the one that got KO'd to count. Uh, I, as soon as I clicked, I was like, oh yeah, sturdy berry juice. And I, then it, then it used counter. Then I remembered, oh yeah, Bonsley counter. <laughs> Um, dang. But overall, other than that, and like the and me just forgetting about Sturdy, like coming back into play after, uh, like if if you go down to Sturdy and you go back to full HP, like Sturdy, like re uh, is back again, um, so you can, it can activate again. So um, that was really surprising. Um, well, it wasn't surprising. I just had forgotten. <laughs> But they played a really well game. Um, I think Reggie, Reggie's always scary to like kind of prep against. But um, I think I think team building, like I kind of said earlier, I kind of went with my gut and did like some pretty standard stuff. Um, fake out U turn and like a strong stab move. <laughs> that's like Charlie and uh, Grookey. That's all they need, right? Um, but I am gonna have to worry a lot more about counter going forward um, with other people. Um, ne like next week we're up against uh, um, Bloomer, I'm pretty sure. Um, and I think they have, Dwe yeah, they have Dwebble, so that's another like strong physical attacker. Um, but they just have a, a pretty physical team uh, from like my pre-scouting and my pre-looking that I've done. Um, and but yeah, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm just gonna have to like worry about counter a lot more. Then I just have to remember like how the abilities work. Um, I know I keep I I brought up about like HP in the little cup and how it's just like a lot lower than what I'm like just to think about so um, berry juice is good because it always does 20 HP right yeah 20 HP um, instead of like a set like percentage like citrus berries do so uh, maybe it does 30 I really don't remember um, but yeah uh, I think Reggie played a really good game. Um, But yeah, I don't know. I think Marini did well too. Uh, I think this is the first week that I brought it where, and like I brought it out in battle where it survived, so that's good. <laughs> um, but yeah, 40 turns. I think a lot of this was just kind of like the whirlwind. I, I, I think I did, I did pretty well. Um, well, yeah. 
obviously I think I did pretty well, but um, the, the fact that uh, Hippopotas had to keep whirlwinding, I think that, that put me in a good spot. Um, um, although like my plan didn't quite work uh, as far as like keeping terrain up and uh, sandstorm up, um, I still think I, I like you know I got the I got the win, which is good, <laughs> but I think um, I don't know. I think I was able to adapt a little bit, um, and I, I the fact that like they kept whirlwinding Silla Cobra made me think that like oh yeah, just keep bringing Silla Cobra because they I don't think they had a counter against it other than. <laughs> literally counter, um, which I think was its demise. Um, let's see. Oh, no, it was Earth. I just forgot about Sand Rush. Um, yeah, I, uh, I think I'm done fighting Drillbird throughout the season, unless, like, I make it to playoffs, then, uh, I'll have to worry about that again, but um, even through paralysis, uh, drill burst still up. At least outspeed Silla Cobra. It probably wouldn't have outsped uh, Sand True, but at that point, I didn't have it. Um, but yeah, sweet. Uh, I feel pretty good about this one. Um, I think I just I just made the right calls when I needed to. Um, and yeah, Silla Cobra did did a lot more than I thought I was going to. Um, Sweet. Well, cool. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm still just kind of like reveling in like this nice, uh, like the good post post match win feeling. Um, yeah. Um, we have like a like an extended week this week just because of the holiday, the American holiday. So um, it's gonna. I think it's gonna. I mean, we could still do like week six matches, but uh, I think I haven't gotten contact with Bloomer yet, but. Um, it might be a little bit, I'll, I'll say it might be a little bit till the next uh, match comes up before I upload the next match, so. Um, sweet. Uh, I feel really good about this one, um, again. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, hopefully I can keep riding on this. Uh, and uh, next week, or whenever ne next week happens, we uh, get the W again. Um, so cool, uh, thanks for watching. Um, again, I, sa I, I said earlier that uh, I was streaming today um, my Twitch is the same as my YouTube, crunky underscore peep underscore. Um, so I'm streaming like ribbons, like my ribbon progress on uh, the two wheezings I'm doing. Um, so yeah, uh, I think on Sundays I'm usually streaming around 2 to 3 Pacific time, Pacific Standard time. So if you want to stop by and watch, that'd be great. Um, I'd love to have you because the Battle Tower is what I'm in and that can be rough. So I need the support. <laughs> um, sweet. Uh, thank you all for watching and I will see you next time.